hi guys welcome to my channel or welcome back in today's video we are livening up these bar stools that we got from my mother-in-law's storage unit um, these are in pretty good shape but they're just stained and outdated um, but they are made out of metal and they're pretty sturdy so I just want to see if I could get them to you know be livened up a little bit and um, get them to fit in a little bit more with everything else that we have in this space so stick around and see how beautiful these turn out so I started by removing these seat pads um, off of the bar stools because I'd like to paint these metal um, bars um, and before I do that I'm just going to clean them so I'm just using a you know a cleaning spray any sort of cleaning spray or even soap and water and a cloth to wipe them down I'm also going to use a steel pad um, or any sort of a scrubber to scrub down any sort of like scuffs or marks that are visible on these so that um, when I paint them those don't really um, remain on there so you want to start by just getting the surface nice and cleaned and then you'll be all set <music> Today's painting job I set up a little area right outside because as you can see we got snow um, it's still winter out here but I just set up some um, garbage bags because I don't have any drop cloths um, I set up some garbage bags and used some painters tape to stick them to the wall and created a little um, area for me to be able to spray paint so although it's winter it is a nice weather day today a bit windier than i would like to be spray painting but you know what it's fine i managed and uh, the temperature was warm enough i think it was plus 10 or plus 12 um despite the snow so we are okay for painting but um yeah i didn't have any other space to do this job but hey it's worked out So for these bar stools, which I wanted to be a little bit light gold, I am using this um, Rust-Oleum uh, paint and primer in one um, metallic spray paint. And the color is uh, Gilded Brass, which I, I like. It's like, a, it's like a light gold. So I think it turns out pretty nice. So this is what it's looking like after one coat of paint. I was being really, really stingy with the paint because I only have two cans. Um, but this is what it's looking like. And I think I'm going to need at least one or two more coats for it to have full coverage. So I'm going to let it dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to move on to the cushions. So we are on our way to Home Depot right now, and then we're also gonna go to the um, fabric store to try to get the fabric for the top of the stool. So I am here with my baby. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs> now I'm not very good with measurements, and so I took one of those cushions with me to the fabric store to get them to measure the amount that I might need to cover the surface and ask for a little bit extra just for, um, just to have room for error um, and again here you'll see that I use no measuring because you know what I am not a seamstress or a tailor and I'm not very good at this stuff all I know is what I want this to look like so that's what I'm going to be trying to do So if you're going to be doing this the way that I'm doing it without measuring anything, I'd say just make sure that you give yourself room for error. So try to get things um, centered and keep checking your work. So you'll see that as I'm stapling this down, I, uh, I keep checking, I keep um, sort of pulling really, really hard to make sure that it's nice and tight. And you know what, there's going to be times that you'll make mistakes and you'll just have to undo as I'm doing here. Um, and that's okay because this is not, you're not a professional, you're just doing your best and you know what you want it to look like. So it doesn't matter if it's not perfect as long as it turns out the way you want it to. Um, 
Another piece of advice that I would give is to try and get a um, fabric that is forgiving. This one is okay. Um, it's a little bit harder to work with. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like cotton or something. I'm not sure. Um, but it's just, it's, uh, it's not flexible. And so it took a lot of like pulling and, um, finicking around to try to get it as, um, as flat as possible without leaving too many wrinkles on the top of the cushion. So if that's what you're dealing with, just keep pulling on it as you go um, so that you're not left with this um, issue that I'm sort of running into with this one here. But I learned my lesson with this cushion and then I was better with the second. And if you're like me and you don't know what fabrics are called or what the best type of fabric to work with is, don't be afraid to ask questions um, when you're at the fabric store. Ask questions. They're usually very helpful um, and you can tell them exactly what you're looking to do. And a lot of times they can give you ideas as well. So that is my piece of advice. Is what it looks like after you've removed the excess fabric which is fine you can leave it like this or go a step further as i'm doing here um, by covering the bottom with some furniture covering material just to make it look a little more professional and so you can get this furniture covering material for pretty cheap from the fabric store as well again i'm not using any measurements i am just going to sort of eyeball it um, you know, if you take a square and fold it into four, you can cut a sort of like a semicircle around the, um, the, from corner to corner. And when you open it, it, um, turns into a circle. That's a little a grade school math there for you. Um, but as you'll see, this is what ends up happening. And then you can kind of continue edging closer and closer to try to get it to the right size. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. I've cut it to size before I staple it down I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other cushion um, and I just wanted to let you know that I spent about six dollars in total for both of these fabric pieces um, which is pretty cheap because the furniture covering piece is just cheap and then the um, white fabric that I got was on sale so at your fabric store local fabric store just look for materials that are within your budget um, you don't have to get leather or leather like material or anything like that that's fancy that's gonna cost you an arm and a leg um, you can find more affordable options if that is what you want um, or you can go for the more expensive stuff too if you feel like it but this is the option I went with set and everything's looking good so far i am going to be using my scotch guard to try and protect these cushions because as you know i got kids and you know white is just not a uh, safe color around this house um so i'm using this scotch guard i did use it on a little test piece of fabric just to make sure that staining and things like that don't happen um so this is just to waterproof it in case we spill things on it we can um, clean it a little more easily so i'm going to spray this and then i'm going to let it dry out um, naturally and this is what the um, stools are looking like after about two coats of paint. Hello, so it's been about 24 hours. I've let the paint dry. Um, so let's see what it looks like. I'm, I'm just gonna show you the stools before I put on the, um, the cushions. I think, I think they look pretty good. Check it out. Thank you. 
So while I'm putting the cushions back, um, I should mention how much I spent on this project. In total, I spent about $32, so 32 Canadian dollars, um, which I think is really good for how good they um, turned out. It was $6 for the fabric, and I got two cans of the spray paint, which were $13 or so each. Um, so the paint was the most expensive part and I got two of them um, Which is why I was a little bit stingy when I was spraying these down But I do think that it could probably have used another coat which I plan to do next time I am painting something gold And voila This is what they look like now you guys. I am obsessed with them okay i think they look beautiful they fit in with everything in this space um i mean look how far we've come okay i don't think my mother-in-law is even gonna recognize these tools the next time she comes over um yeah i love 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 these um comment below and let me know what you guys think um i just i i love how they turn out how light they are how modern they look um they're never perfect but nothing in this house is perfect and they're just perfect the way they are um thank you so much for watching this video until the very end i hope you've enjoyed it i, I hope you've been inspired to make little changes as well please don't forget to subscribe and support me if you like this type of content thank you so much for watching and hit that like button um, I hope to see you next time and thank you for watching again. Bye!